All right, so what the heck is he running his mouth about today? Well, I'll tell you, I got four unique pieces of information. I got a quote that'll make you think. I've got a piece of information about the largest lender in the United States getting out of a segment of the business altogether. I've got a story that you'll have to hear to believe. And I got a helpful tidbit. Here we go. Hey, it's Ryan Charles. Welcome to the Lone Giants Daily for Tuesday, February 8th. I got to keep it brief this morning because I'm meeting a friend and a business partner downtown at the convention center. We're going to see Brian Buffini speak this morning. And this will actually be the first time that I've had a chance to see Brian Buffini speak, so I'm in for a treat. Here we go. Let's start with that quote. All right, so my friend posted this on Facebook yesterday, and I absolutely loved it and had to share it with you guys. So here it goes. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up. It knows it must run faster than the fastest line or it'll be killed. Every morning a lion wakes up. It knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it'll starve to death. And it doesn't matter whether you're a lion or gazelle. When the sun comes up in the morning, you best be running. Love that, hope you do too. So the interesting piece of news that I wanted to share with you this morning is that Bank of America, the largest lender that there is, is no longer going to do reverse mortgages. They're exiting the, the whole arena. They're going to continue to service the 100000 that they have in the books, uh, but they're no longer going to originate them. So if they're in the process, they're going to close them, and then that's it. No more reverse mortgages for Bank of America. What I don't know is why. I'll have to find that out and I'll share it with you. I'm not a big fan of reverse mortgages anyways. So that's a topic for another day. Uh, but just thought that was pretty big news that the largest lender in the United States is no longer doing reverse mortgages. Well, that brings us to the, to the funny story. It's, I say funny, but it's actually kind of sad. The Mortgage Bankers Association, this is true by the way, sold their DC headquarters a year ago to CoStar Group. Um, for $41 million. Well, why is that news? Well, they bought it in 2008 for $90 million. They took a $49 million loss on this thing. Well, now the CoStar Group's turning around and selling that same piece of property for $101 million uh, to a, a company out of Germany, who, and then CoStar's gonna turn right around and lease it from them. I just thought that was kind of ironic, the Mortgage Bankers Association taking almost a $50 million loss on a piece of property. All right, last but not least is my helpful tip. You know, someone shared this with me and, and I can't believe that I never uh, recognized it or realized this before, but check this picture out. And what do you see? You see a little arrow pointing to a certain side. That's the side with the fuel tank. So, I mean, if you're driving your own car, you probably know which side your fuel tank's on, but if you're in a friend's car or a rental car, Check it out, you'll always know which side it's on, the little arrow. Remember, Ryan Charles, the Lone Giants, told you that. Hey, if you like what I said today, and if you want more information like this, subscribe to the right, forward it on Facebook, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Because you're watching this, I know you're running. So the question is, are you the lion or are you the gazelle? Have a great day.